Shalom, guys. Shalom. Yes, welcome to the channel, guys. In this video, we're going to be reacting to this video, this very critical time in West Africa. So stay tuned. On se sent en famille en ce sens que la Russie est une famille aussi pour l'Afrique. C'est une famille parce que nous avons la même histoire. La Russie a consenti d'énormes sacrifices pour libérer le monde du nazisme pendant la Seconde Guerre mondiale. Les peuples africains, nos grands-pères, ont été déportés de force aussi pour aider l'Europe à se débarrasser du nazisme. Nous partageons la même histoire en ce sens que nous sommes les peuples oubliés du monde. Qu'il soit dans les livres d'histoire, dans les documentaires ou films, on tend donc à balayer le rôle prépondérant qu'a joué la Russie et de l'Afrique dans cette lutte contre le nazisme. Pour ce qui concerne le Burkina Faso, aujourd'hui nous sommes confrontés depuis plus de huit ans à la forme de manifestation la plus barbare, la plus violente du néocolonialisme, de l'impérialisme. L'esclavage tend encore à nous imposer. Nos dévanciers nous ont bien appris une chose. L'esclave qui n'est pas capable d'assumer sa révolte ne mérite pas que l'on s'apitoie sur son sort. Nous ne nous apitoyons pas sur nos sorts, on ne demande pas que quelqu'un s'apitoie sur notre sort. Le peuple burkinabé a décidé de lutter, de lutter contre le terrorisme en mesure de relancer son développement. Dans cette lutte, des vaillants peuples, des vaillantes populations se sont engagées à prendre les armes face au terrorisme, ce que nous avons affectueusement appelé les VDP, des volontaires. Nous sommes surpris de voir les impérialistes traiter ces VDP de milices et de tout type. C'est décevant, parce qu'en Europe, lorsque des peuples prennent les armes pour défendre leur patrie, on les traite de patriotes. Mais là n'est pas le problème. Ce qui est le problème, c'est de voir des chefs d'État africains qui n'apportent rien à ces peuples qui se battent, mais qui chantent la même chose que les impérialistes en nous traitant de milices, en nous traitant donc d'hommes qui ne respectent pas les droits de l'homme. De quel droit de l'homme parle-t-on Nous nous offusquons contre cela et c'est honteux. Il faut que nous, chefs d'État africains, nous arrêtons de nous comporter donc en marionnettes qui dansent à chaque fois que les impérialistes tirent sur les ficelles. Hier, le président Vladimir Poutine a annoncé donc l'envoi des céréales en Afrique. Nous sommes bien contents. Nous lui disons merci pour cela. Mais aussi, c'est un message passé à nos chefs d'État africains. Parce qu'au prochain forum, nous ne devrons pas venir ici sans avoir assuré, pour ceux qui ne connaissent pas la guerre, l'autosuffisance alimentaire de nos peuples. Nous devons prendre l'expérience de ceux qui ont pu déjà atteindre cela en Afrique, tisser de bonnes relations ici et tisser de meilleures relations avec la Fédération de Russie pour pouvoir assouvir les besoins de nos populations. Gloire à nos peuples, dignité à nos peuples, victoire à nos peuples, la patrie ou la mort, nous vaincrons. This is heavy. The first time that I saw that all this was going on in West Africa, I was like, wow, that's that's a lot. That's crazy. But I am so proud of Burkina Faso and Mali for sticking with Niger because or Niger, whatever. I don't know how they want you to say <laughs> it. <laughs> because that look and we were just talking about this in our other videos. Check them out. That type of unity is needed. I'm also proud of Nigeria because they actually blocked in the Senate what their president said about, or allegedly, he said about, allegedly, he said, or what the West wanted Nigeria to do about, you know, putting sanctions on Niger and going in and attacking them. Like, it's time to get rid of the puppet leaders. Specifically in this video, what stuck out to me was the way that he described the, ne the neo-colonialism mm. as barbaric. That's the exact right word. <laughs> That's the exact right. stance, perspective, and the reality that Africa is living in, especially West Africa. France has a very, very strong hold on West Africa. And it's time for it to come to an end. I am in agreement 100%. You know, I pray the scriptures over West Africa that the Most High would go before their armies and that he would protect them and save them and stop the oppression because it's time. Yeah. And that's that's all that's that's all our people is wanting. 
it's just to let us be just let us go i know in the video um that's too hard too hard it, it is it's, it's it's hard for that those uh barbaric people huh but I, I know in the video he said um you know the african leaders the african heads of states cannot be puppets because that's that's true because a lot of people are very corrupt here um they might not seem seem like it but they are so that's the biggest challenge for our african leaders to step up to the plate and unify as africans as the people here on the continent or else you always be in slave modern day slavery to europe really so do you have anything to say about because i know people are going to come in the comments about russia the way he spoke about russia like we're family um i would say it's I prophesied i guess I don't, I don't know that's that's what i have to say um Things are, are falling in line how it should. Things are really falling in line how it should. That's that's really what I have to say. So you have to sit back, you know, do some jumping jacks, kick your feet up, <laughs> and just just watch. But be ready. Be ready. Because you have to. Look, the main thing is to seek peace individually and make sure you be ready for war. Yeah, because the Most High is righteous and he judges the cause of the afflicted. And the African peoples have been afflicted for a very, very long time now. And so, time's up. That's all I have to say. So guys, yes. Hallelujah. It is our time. It is our time to not be oppressed. It is our time to be one with the Father. And be fearless. Don't be selling out and all this stuff because you're afraid of white folks. If you're that afraid, go live in Europe. Yeah, go 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 take a go karate class or something. Go go take a boxing class. No, if you can sell out, just go live there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so serious. Like, don't even be here. Don't even be fake like that. Just go live. You want to be white and want to be around those folks? Go live with them. <laughs> what? What? Somebody's like, white ain't right. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> is that Dave Chappelle? Leave a comment below. I think it was Dave Chappelle, like one of his comedy skits or something. Wow. <laughs> that was funny. It just popped in my head. But yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like, leave us a comment, and let us know your thoughts. Um, subscribe to the channel, guys. So we'll be talking to you in the next video. All right, shalom. Seek peace. And it's time for war. In the spirit.